Hello family, welcome to yet another episode. If you are new here, please subscribe. Uh, we have a variety of programs. We not only do daily devotions, but also we've introduced a podcast segment on our channel called Search for Clarity. Uh, it's an expository podcast that is geared towards looking at the current events and how they measure up in the Bible. And I'm sure the podcast will bless you. And also we've been doing uh, Friday live worships. So if you tune in Friday, anytime from 7 p.m. onwards, we do our live Vespasis. And so our today's episode, we're going to look at a very interesting topic. And our topic for today is three laughters. And, and I know our previous episode, we discovered something about emotional intelligence. And today we are also continuing under the same segment, but we're looking into a very interesting story. And you know, in the Bible, God expresses emotion differently. We are told that God becomes angry. God is jealous. We also told Jesus wept. And so God is not only a reasonable being, but he's also an emotional being. And he doesn't shy away from expressing his emotions. When he is angry, he makes it known to us. When he is happy, he says, I am pleased with my servant. When he is sudden, we see him weeping. So God is not ashamed of displaying his emotions. And so today we're going to look into the three laughters. And our topic today is centered in the book of Genesis 17 to 18. And before that, let us believe in prayer. Our dear Jesus, may you be with the Don of Faith family and throughout this episode, may we draw closer to you. Be with us now, if you are in your name, pray and believe. Amen. Now, in Genesis 17, verse 17, I'll give you the background of the story. 17, verse 17 happens when uh, God is trying to promise Abraham that Abraham, you will have a son. And this time Abraham has surpassed, as in he's very old, and the wife of Abraham, Sarah, has surpassed menopause. So by all standards, biology, chemistry, all science, by now defines Sarah as someone who is not able to carry a child. And so before we go to verse 17, I would like us to start from verse 15. And take your Bible, and read this with me. And God said unto Abraham, As for Sarah thy wife, thou shalt not call her name Sarai, but Sarah shall her name be. And I will bless her, and give thee a son also of her. Now God is very particular on which woman he is going to give a son. It is Sarah. Yeah, I will bless her, and she shall be a mother of nations. King of people shall be of her. Now. God has been very particular. He said he's going to bless Sarah. And as we all understand that as of now, Sarah by all natural means, she's not able to carry a child. And so verse 17, Abraham reacts the way me and you will react. Then Abraham fell upon his face and laughed and said in his heart, shall a child be born, be born unto him that is a hundred years old? And shall Sarah that is 90 years old bear? I mean, Abraham is saying, God, I mean, let's be realistic. Sarah is very old. She's not able to bear a son. And so in verse 18, Abraham proposed a solution and said, God, look, I know you can do anything, but now I have a solution how this thing can work. And Abraham said unto God, Oh, that Ishmael might live before thee. And so Abraham proposes a counter solution to God, saying that, you know, Sarah cannot bear any son. Use my son. Ishmael. Ishmael, use him, bless him. So we sing here Abraham laughing. That is our first laughter. Now, I'll jump to chapter 18 and then we'll go back to chapter 17. And so, chapter 18, verse 9, from verse 9. And they said unto him, Where is Sarah thy wife? So these are three visitors that came to visit Abraham. And Abraham had received them, and later on we see Abraham identifying the, one of them as as Lord God. And so in verse 9, and they said unto him, Where is Sarah thy wife? And he said, 
behold, in the tent. And he said, I will certainly return unto thee according to the time of life. And lo, Sarah thy wife shall have a son. And Sarah had it in the tent which was behind him. Now I'll go to verse 12. Therefore Sarah laughed within herself, saying, After I am waxed old, shall I have pleasure, my Lord, being old also? Now the first laughter, we are seeing Abraham laughed. And the second laughter, we are seeing Sarah laughed. Okay? But remember our topic for today is the three laughters. So Abraham has laughed. Sarah has laughed. Okay? Now let's look at the third laughter. Now we go back to Genesis 17 again, verse 19. And God said, Sarah thy wife shall bear thee a son indeed, and thou shalt call his name Isaac. Now if you look at the meaning of the word Isaac, it means he laughs. And so in these two, two laughters, though it was an express of unbelief, God answered it with an emotion. The word Isaac means he laughs. And so God also laughed. And so God did not take their infirmities. He laughed with them. And so just as I began, we do not serve a God who is like a robot, a God who cannot empathize with our feelings. And in Hebrew chapter 4, verse 15, the Bible says, For we do not have a high priest who cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities. Now we serve a God that is able to understand us. You see, Abraham laughed out of disbelief. Sarah laughed out of disbelief. But God answered their laughter with a son. He called him Isaac. And so God understands our weaknesses. And so we do not serve, we do not have a high priest who cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted like as we are, yet without sin. Now if you look at the very life of Jesus Christ, we, we are told Christ was hungry. We are told Christ wept. We are told Christ was angered at some point at, uh, in the temple when he chased out the money changes. And so when you are passing through issues, when you are having troubles, today's episode I want to remind you, my friend, that just the way God laughed at Abraham and his laughter produced result, he gave him the son Isaac. So today, in your problems, God will laugh at them. Not in a bad way, but he's going to answer them. He answered their laughter with the son. And so he will answer your depression with restoration. He will answer your weeping with joy. He will answer you. And so he tells us in Isaiah 1 verse 18, Come, let us reason together. So he's calling us that he understands our emotions. He understands our feelings. And he is a high priest who understands our infirmities. So may God bless you. And may you laugh with him. See you again in our next episode.